Hi guys, welcome back to Food and Mood Creations. Today we're going to be making roasted vegetable meatballs. So what you're looking at is footage of a video that I started filming but never finished. So these are just some cut up vegetables. I'm just going to season them and then roast them. I apologize for the extra background noise. That is not a car or a plane, that's my computer. So just bear with me, please. So these vegetables are actually going to be used for roasted vegetable quinoa ball. If you want to see the recipe for that, the link is in the description box below. So these are the leftovers from the roasted vegetable quinoa ball. I also added some egg command and mushrooms to it. I'm also using some homemade oat flour since I don't have any gluten-free breadcrumbs. If you do have gluten-free breadcrumbs, you can just use those. I'm just going to pour these vegetables into a food processor and blend them. I don't want it to be pureed, I want the meatballs to have a bit of texture so I'm just going to chop them until they look like this. I'm just going to take those vegetables and place them into a bowl. I ended up with about a cup and a half to two cups of roasted vegetables and I'm just going to add the oat flour a fourth of a cup at a time because you can always add more flour but you can never take it out. I'm just going to continue adding oat flour and mixing it until it holds its shape and comes together. I'm just going to roll this mixture into meatballs and place them onto a parchment line baking sheet. Um, I ended up with 9 meatballs but you can roll these meatballs into whatever size you want them to be. I'm just going to bake these for 30 to 40 minutes until they're slightly golden and browned on the bottom. This is what they came out looking like. Um, they were good. To be honest, I have no idea how these were going to turn out because I just randomly made them up in my head. But they turned out really, really delicious. Um, I served this with pasta and red sauce. You can serve this however you like. If you want to know the specific ingredients and measurements used in this recipe, the link is in the description box below. See you in the next video.